Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today is Sunday, Sunday means DAX Sunday and every Sunday we bring something new in DAX. And today we are going to talk about Cretase DAX function, which is going to help you to create measures of the calculations when you encounter there is no relationship between the two tables or in your data model. So generally what happens, so in Power BI filters propagates through the relationships and that's how you can get the related data or you can filter out the different data in Power BI. But there are certain cases when there is no relationship or that means there is no active relationship between these two tables or between any tables. So in that case, use relationship and the tree tests are the DEX function that you are looking for. So enough all the talking, let's head over to my laptop. So today we are starting with the tree test dex function which is pretty new dex function and this is going to help you out when you have to deal with some of the unrelated tables in your data model. As you can see its definition simply says that it's going to apply the results of a table expression as a filter to the columns from an unrelated table. Syntax is going to be tree test then your table expression and the number of columns where your table expression is an expression that results in table so it needs input as a table and column is one or more existing columns it cannot be an expression but before starting i would like to tell you there are some of the keynotes which you should always keep in your mind while working using the tree test text function the very first is that the number of columns specified must match the number of columns in the table expression and be in the same order. The second one, if a value return in the table expression does not exist in the column, it is ignored. Third, best for use when a relationship does not exist between the tables. If you have multiple relationships between the tables involved, consider using use relationship instead. And the lastly, this function is not spotted for use in direct query mode when used in calculated columns or row level security rules. So now I'm going to explain you using a demo. So let's go over to the demo part. As you can see on my screen right now, I have one visualization, which is a table on my left mouse side, which is going to give us the regions from a sales territory. Second one, I'm using year column and the total sales. Total sales is nothing, it's, uh, it's the sum of the sales amount. And the last one is a slicer, which is employee region. Before starting our demo using the tree test tax function, I would like to show you my data model over here. I have reseller sales table, which is my fact tables, which is surrounded by other dimensional tables, which is employee, sales territory, and date table. In sales territory, I have sales territory key and the regions or the countries over there. It's related to the reseller sales table using my sales territory key, but there's no relationship between the employee and the sales territory key. Though there's an inactive relationship between the employee and the sales territory table. And since in Power BI, filters propagate through the relationships which are active, not inactive. So there won't be any propagation of the filter over here. But using tree test function, we can achieve the same. So let me get back to my report view. So let's start creating a measure. First of all, I need to go on my reseller tables and I'll say reseller sales. Over here, I'm going to create a new measure by the name sales amount excluding blended sales now after equal sign we actually start writing our expressions over here and i'm gonna use the calculate which is going to help me to evaluate the expression in a context modified by filters now either I can use sum and sales amount or I can directly use my total sales measure which I already created. Then we have to filter it out and then we can apply our tree test function over here. So tree test function, the very first it's need input as a table. So over here what I need, I need the 
table of the region so we which I'm gonna get from the employee region from the employee table so how I can get it I'll apply the values text function which is gonna give me a table here I can either give the table name or the column name so I'm gonna provide over here the column name which is my region and it's coming from the employee table now it's need it needs one column as well so which is going to come from the sales territory table which is my region column and that's it that's all you need to do just hit the enter button it's going to say that I have already created a measure with this name so definitely you can see that I have already this measure so let me just give it a name new so now you can see that I have this new sales amount excluded what I can do I can bring it in this table over here and let me just adjust this table first so now initially you will see everything is equal there is no effect on each other however once I'm gonna select this northeast you will realize there's no sales amount over here so that is what we were looking for we wanted that whenever I'm getting data related to the employees that should also get related to the sales territory table so now you can see that we filter on the Northeast employee territory the sales excluding foreign employees are visibly lower keep in mind the filter on the sales territory dimension is only applied in the measure itself also you can see on my left hand side table it displaying the regions from the dimension table it is unaffected by the slicer so even if I change any other value this table is always going to be unaffected because there is no relationship between this employee table and the sales territory table. however it's gonna work when I'm gonna use treat as dex function in this measure so guys this was a very quick example to show you demonstrate you the treat as dex function if you have any question or any concern please do let us know if you are over here the very first time please consider us to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest updates.